Today we're grabbing a Cocker Spaniel, and as usual, we are grabbing a 40 first and shaving out the pads. Don't go too deep, and just kind of making it flush with the pad. This is a modified Cocker cut today. Shave out the Cocker skirt pattern. So I will grab a 7 reverse and shave that out all around the dog. Um, making sure to go up around the pattern line against the hair so I can blend it in later with a 10. I would like to shave the face with the 7 reverse just like you would a poodle. You hold everything out of the way, the ears, and 7 reverse that face and the entire muzzle. Taking a 10 blade and shaving the inside and the outside of the ears, just the top about halfway down. Um, she really likes the ears like this. Um, it's not a normal situation here, but I do like to clean out the inside of the ears real good because cocker ears can get really nasty inside. So if you can shave out as much hair as possible, even going reverse up closer to the ear canal um, and just going all the way down with almost to the end of the ear and you won't even be able to tell from the other side, but it keeps the ears nice and clean. On blending that pattern line out, so I did the seven reverse and now I'm taking a tin and cleaning up the lines all around, making sure to scoop out so I can have a nice clean blend and not a jagged line going straight across the dog. This pattern line is very high up, but this is the way she likes it, this is the way she wants it, so this is the way she's going to get it. And um, he, does, he does look nice in the end. Just be real gentle with that tin blade, don't dig in real hard, otherwise you will have nasty marks everywhere. You want it to look very natural. I am taking an A comb, my guide comb, and going all over his skirt and his legs, taking off as much hair as possible because this is really going to save me on my scissor time, which is what takes the longest. So um, I'm just kind of neatly going over and over and over as much as I can and being gentle about picking up his arms and legs. He's wiggly, so just working with it. I'm gonna have to go all over his entire body with this guide comb several times as quick as possible. I like to leave a crown on him. He looks really good with a crown and his mama likes it. So we do take a two reverse, two comb reverse over the top and trim up as much as I can with that. And then I will comb the bangs forward, trim the bangs. Then I like to take thinners to blend the long parts into the sh very short top of the skull. And so it looks like it has a really nice blend line. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see here. It's moving out of the way. So just take those thinners and go over and over that, that line where the short meets the long to make it look nice. She likes his ears trimmed up really short because cocker ears do tend to get really nasty and they, can, they fall in the water as they're drinking and end up in the food bowl and everything else on the ground. So we trim his ears up real short. So I will comb them down, brush them, comb them down and then grab my fingers and find the leather with my fingers and then I will put the scissors after my fingers so that my fingers are between the skin and my scissors and cut so I don't trim the ear, just the ear hair. Now uh, it's time to comb up the hair and trim up. So I always start with one section at a time, so we're doing kind of his leg, upper shoulder area, and um, I will do this whole leg until I'm finished with this whole leg. I won't go around any other area until that's done because you can get very overwhelmed trying to jump from one spot to another. And he's really wiggly, so I, I try to keep him still by placing my other hand on an, like another part of his body, maybe scratching his chest or, you know, kind of holding his neck or something, you know, to where it will distract him and help him to stay, um, stay in one position so that I can finish up the spot I'm working on. You definitely get used to moving animals. <laughs> after you've been doing this for as long as I have.
They almost have this leg looking good. And so um, I will hold the arm up and get under that arm and chest area right there. Get all those stray hairs that the guy comb missed. He usually does a real good job on the sides here. So you just have a little bit to do. And then we'll come up down that back leg and start brushing the feet. Trim them around. And then the tops. Is Mr. Roo all finished up? Doesn't he look handsome? This is our modified cocker cut. High pattern with an A comb on the skirt and legs. A nice trimmed up crown and really short ears. Really cleaned up inside. Bye Roo. Thanks for watching.